Hey everyone, my name is Justin from JustThisGood.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to get a torn paper look to your photos in Photoshop. So you could start working directly on a photo that you have open or you could start a new canvas and drag a photo in there if you want a specific size to your document. But I'm just going to work on this photo layer here. The first thing we'll do is create a background layer. So I'll go to layer, new fill layer, and a lot of times you might see this with some fun watercolor textures or whatever. You could find those on the internet, but I'll just use a new pattern fill layer that Photoshop has built in. So I'll use one of these cool color paper surfaces and uh, I'll pick a fun one to use. So we'll pick this cool pink one here. So I'll press OK, and now that I have my background, I'm going to make sure my layer is unlocked, so I'll double click it and press enter if it's not, and I'll drag my layer above everything. But I'll hide it for now because we still want to create our torn paper template. So now I'll select my pattern fill layer again, and I'll go to layer, new layer. So this is going to create a layer in between the pattern fill layer and our actual photo. And on this layer, we're going to create our torn paper. Photoshop actually provides a lot of brushes that give you some cool texture built in. So first of all, grab your rectangular marquee tool and create a rough block of the size that you want your photo to be. So you could create it oblong or sideways, whatever way you want. So I'll just create a rough size of the shape and I'll right click and fill with the color black. It doesn't matter what color you use, if you want to use white, if that's easier to see, you can do that. But I'm just going to use black. Now we want to take these perfectly clean edges and make them more rough and torn looking. So here's where we're going to grab our brush tool and use one of these default brushes. So if you don't see these, click the cogwheel and reset your brushes and select OK. And you should see, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, some chalky and rough looking brushes. So this last one here, called Rough Round Bristle, is pretty cool. You can adjust the size to something that works well to your photo. And just begin painting in the edges. You can see it's already getting that bit of a rough, torn look. Just to mix it up, I'm going to grab one of these other chalky brushes. And I'll just start getting that destroyed look in the way that I want. If you want, you can even do the same with erasing rather than brushing. So once you've brushed out some, you can actually grab your eraser tool, grab those same brushes and rip out some of those corners, you know, to create a different look. But once you're happy with your overall torn shape, now we're going to place our photo within it. So I'll unhide my photo layer and I'll actually just create a clipping mask since it's directly above this shape layer. So you could use the shortcut Option Command G or go to Layer, Create Clipping Mask. Now I can grab my Move tool and move it around wherever I like and I can also use Command T or Edit Free Transform and scale it down to a size that I like. And before we finish, we're going to create some illusion of depth on this piece of paper by right clicking that black shape layer, selecting Blending Options and checking Bevel and Emboss. Here I'm going to use a pretty strong depth and turn the size down to just a few pixels so just the edges have a little bit of a shadow and a highlight to them. You can also adjust the angle of this highlight depending on what looks best for your photo. So play with those settings however you like and then you can also add a texture to that bevel and emboss and under the pattern drop down menu I like using the grayscale paper textures and just choosing one that adds a little bit of that paper texture to your photo. It's almost hard to see, but you want to keep it at a very low depth of like 10 to 5%. And you'll notice if you take it too far, it just starts to get wacky looking. So keep it at a really low 5% just to give you some texture. And then press OK once you're happy with all of your settings. And you should have a torn photo look that looks like it came out of a torn piece of cardboard or paper. Subscribe to my channel if you're not to stay tuned for future videos and I'll see you guys next time.